Finally tonight, so many stories of heroism and heartbreak emerging from here. Stephanie Gosk has the story of one family now facing unimaginable loss. They were a couple of idealists who sent their kids to a school where you learned Arabic and Hebrew together. Brandeis University professor Ilan Troen, remembering his daughter Deborah and son-in-law Shlomi. He was on the phone with them on Saturday when Hamas gunmen broke into their home. The last words from her was that I hear glass breaking. They're speaking in Arabic and I hear shots. That's the last words we heard from her. He says the couple was shot and killed while shielding their teenage son, Rotem. We heard Rotem, her son, say that I am shot, there is blood in me, and um, he was instructed then not to speak. For roughly 10 hours, Troen says they texted Rotem as he hid from the attackers. When Hamas returned the last time, he says they tried to burn the house down. They tried to burn it down, and why? Because in the event that there were any survivors, they wanted to shoot any survivor who would walk out the front or the back door. Rotem survived, but the family is left shattered by Hamas's attack. These are not the people who should have been killed by hate mongers, but they were. And what happens in the future, I don't know. His daughter and son-in-law had always hoped for peace, he says. And now they will never see it. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.